P plus four. 35. Uh, your next saving throw is going to be failure. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Morally lacking. All of you people. Morally lacking. Uh, sorry about that. Yes, humans, we're quite, uh, deficit. What about you? You own an unoccupied place. You are contacted by refugees who desperately need somewhere to stay. Your anonymity is assured. You have every reason to believe that no harm will come to your property. Are you morally ob obliged to allow them to stay there? Do they uh, sure. funny? I've, I've, I've just got, got a blocking. Blocking. Right. <laughs> They can use I, it. I I've never myself. I've got uh, two babies. <laughs> Where are these refugees? <laughs> we were uh, refugees ourselves, you recall. Uh, me from Garden, at least. All of us in the... in the. Oh, wait, wait, I have another question. Are any of them alchemists? <laughs> I have reason yeah, to believe uh, they might want into our house for... That's gonna cause some problems, yeah. Uh, yeah, dishonest reasons. Biased, small, evil, selfish little things. Your morals are lacking here. It hops out of the fountain. Oh, well, you're melting. Melting. Ha, ha. So how about that, guy? Uh, yes, the, uh, the evil of this place. The evil of this place. He's very into morality. Um, I, I hear that, yes. He has a sword, though, so you should be nice to him. To shed no, my I scales for their wealth, use my house for their money. greed. I told him already, but it didn't seem to be the answer. Um... <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> He's had oh enough God. of you. Oh, God. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. The melting gold dragon. Now 2034. Oh, is he, did he just get spanked? <laughs> Uh, are, you, are you just going to do the initiative sheet thing? Uh, it's big and slow. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do random numbers yeah. here. Oh, sorry. You said roll, so I rolled. Yeah. My bad. It's all right. You got to say goodbye to your beautiful Nat 20. Yeah, it's fine. I, think I don't roll them in combat anyways. Anyway. So it's fine. So. What's that, Matt? I, I suspect that Thurgus is going to go first anyway. Oh my god, the thing is just talking. It, it has a minus one because of its size and low dex because dragons are slow. And it rolled a one. <laughs> Rip. The, the thing is becoming increasingly hostile. What Thurgus, it's, it's like begging to be hit almost he wants us to put it down he said are we morally obligated to kill someone who's asking to be killed or something all thurgus heard is that this dragon is in a world of pain and he doesn't have a house to live in and so we need to kill him and you, bury him in our backyard you can see his thurgus, like I, maybe we should reconsider he is a beautiful specimen he's He's worth more than his weight in literal gold alive. Oh, I must also Let's mention, Professor, rushing. your gi ass is now kicked in, and you oh, I think it's yeah, a really, I, we, oh, of course, it's a really good idea to bring this this metallic dragon. Yeah, we have to keep before it alive. a shrine of Garrix. You 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 yes. don't know where there's a shrine of Garrix or if there's one in here, but you're pretty sure you could cobble something together um as an offering. Oh, it can be any shrine. It doesn't just have to be that specific shrine in the desert the dripping gold scales um at, at, like as the gold is flowing off of it you could see like inside of its body and some of its like um some of its sores and internal organs and bones uh the gold when it hits the ground does form these really strange melty coins um you think ferris say something very bad has happened to this majestic creature uh, Something's gone horribly wrong, and worry about those coins, for they may affect your mind. Thurgus. We were warned about that specifically. Uh, Let's not Thurgus be too hasty, everyone. Let's actually knows what prevail. this thing is. 
he doesn't normally get to do this because no one in his party identifies things for him. Huh? <laughs> but he will activate Greater Bane for dragons. <laughs> as a single action. Let uh, the gods shine down. He isn't big anymore, so he doesn't have reach. So he takes a five-foot step. Oh, sorry. Dragons this size are gargantuan. That does make him a little bit bigger. Okay. That's that's not concerning at all. Uh, he still takes a five-foot step. So that's two actions. Uh... And then I said I was waving around a weapon, so I'm assuming I'm not dual wielding right now. So I he will make one attack roll with the blood sickle, the dragon bane blood sickle. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's thirty six plus. Let me check the bane really fast. Because it's two? greater bane. I think that's just four? d6s. Oh, greater bane. So, I think it's just plus two. Yeah, it's plus two to hit. So 38 to hit. His AC before putting up spells, I'm going to copy past of this because it's really annoying, is AC 39. <laughs> but is he flat-footed because I want initiative? Yes, he is. So he, loses, he loses no decks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that okay. makes sense. That's it for me. All right. Do you have any fortune points? Give me a second. Maybe. Uh, Max, you've got two fortune points. Can I spend that after the roll? Yep. Sweet. I'll do that. All right. So you hit. You, uh, you, you send blood gold paint flying across the room, which turn into gold coins. In, I, specifically, I did not roll a power attack with that bonus to hit. So this yep. is just regular damage plus uh, static plus two from Bane. Plus four D six for forty two points of damage with an adamantine sharding truthful dragon bane greatsword. Okay, the dragon bane sword sizzles. Um, some of the gold melts against your sword. Other other droplets turn into these weird melty coins that litter the room now. <laughs> You're going to have to do much more than that to stop this dragon. Oh, for sure. But you've, you've now pissed him off. Um, but he's slow to act. Professor, um, you are convinced, although you don't have to uh, follow through, subduing the dragon might be part of uh, bringing it before an idol of Garrick's. Um, yeah, so I have, a, I have a question about that. Now mm -hmm. that my forgotten geese has, uh, like, I'm confronted with a metallic dragon and it's clicking into place in my mind, do I get the sense that I can, if I can find an altar to Garrix anywhere or build my own, that that would suffice? Or did it have to be the specific one in the lair uh, of the smoking view? No, you're smart. You, you You're you're crafty. You think that if you found some way to actually make connection to Garrix and offer this creature up as a sacrifice, then uh, this might be sufficient. Um, okay. And I'm smart enough with my knowledge of religion to know, like, the basics of his, like, religion that I know his iconography and, like, the temples. There's probably, like, a... Well, you've visited knowledge. one. You don't know how you okay. recreate it. Um, yeah, we're in this giant, uh, stone room here, uh, <laughs> almost like, like cathedral, maybe like a nice hallway here, so. Yeah, this, this room is much bigger on the inside than the spacing of the doors in the hallway suggests it should be. Okay, uh, and this is a full round here, this isn't like a nope, reduced round? Nope, you guys... All squared each other up for a while. Him with his barrage of morality questions, and you guys with your. <laughs> we utterly failed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's okay. no right. Uh, or, there's no <laughs> right or wrong answer to these. No, no. The but they're the, definitely the, wrong. Answers. There's no right <laughs> answers. Right. There were some wrong answers that for, got thrown down. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was the internet quiz I was taking beforehand to just get the questions. <laughs> yeah. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. I'm, I'm um, like, it's going to be super judgy. 
Like he almost. judged me, I judged him back. Yep. I I absolutely feel like you've created a character in Ultima Four. So <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, Professor, what are you doing? We've stalled okay. while giving uh, Luke some time yeah. to. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, I feel the tug in my mind, and I don't even think. I just turn around, and in this giant like hall we're in here, I guess directly across from this fountain where the dragon's coming out, centered, you know, facing in front of me, I'll like drop to my knees in prayer and cast permanent illusion and use the fool illusion to try and recreate the like statue altar to Garrick's facing this dragon here. And I will uh, start beseeching him. Okay. Uh, what's the... uh, oh, I will also uh, put three points uh, into making this illusion just as powerful as I can make it, right? I gotta do... And what's the DC of this... <laughs> what's the DC of this illusion? Uh, this will be almost the most I can throw down here. It will be 32, 34, I think. Okay. A massive um, red stone carved statue of a red dragon breathing flame its wings spread throughout the chamber casting flame and ruin across everything else this nice uh this nice temple is overlapped with um crumbling uh crumbling and cracking ruins and and brimstone there's odd writing on the walls as you illusorily blaspheme the area uh do you do you have a um, you've got a skill, right? Where you craft illusions? Uh, yes. Could you give me a roll for that as well? To see how well you... Uh... Yes. And then I, I'm, there uh... may be some synergies here. Give me a second. You have five ranks in knowledge religion, at least. Okay, good. And you've been to one. Okay, you can get a plus four synergy. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's no bonuses. Now, the, going hi right the now. higher you get, the chances of actually doing something is. There's a chance with ridiculously high rolls. Are you spending a hero pointer to, in this or not? Yeah, I'll throw a hero point down. Is there anything that's improving skill checks right now, Ronan? Not really. We haven't really done much, have we? Not really, okay. no. Okay. Yeah, I will use a hero point then. What is, that gives me an extra eight. Eight before the roll. Okay. Okay. Uh, the villain point was the the dragon was going to be cranky, and it I increased its size from the original uh, from the original mod module. The boon is going to be <laughs> if you roll high enough, uh, like you will accurately create a worshipable area of towards the ancient dragon god of Garrix. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else i can throw in here i've got that the four sound like a boon. i've got the eight is there i think that's it that doesn't sound it's, like a boon it. that sounds like a sacrificial <laughs> altar can you use a Rift hero professor. point and a fortune point in the same turn yep are you uh, using your fortune point as well what does that give me on plus two you could do it retroactively so yeah i'll probably throw that one on as well okay. i plus probably two. can't use multiple hero points in a turn can i no okay i think this is it <laughs> not Here for the go. same plus eight you could you could spend your second hero point to roll twice and take the higher of the two mm. and i'd have to declare that right now no Okay, uh, I'll keep that as an option if okay. the roll is poor. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's poor. I'm doing it. Let's rack them again. Plus two. We could do better than plus two, guys. Okay, Come on. This has been... Same, same bonus. One. 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 <sighs> this goes back two, two years. How long are we reaching back in for this forgotten geese? <laughs> 
before we'd even left the first pearl? Years, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's better than two. It's better than two. All right, so there's something wrong. You're like, this is exactly like the place that you went to. Um, there's just something like a hollow feeling about your illusion, Luke. You, you've, you've actually had deific contact before, and there is a uh, there's something off. That isn't. This should be to any to any deity. This should be a a, a wondrous offering. You, you're kind of left thinking, well, why? Why didn't this work? Uh, do you have any other actions this turn? There's still a massive and grand illusion of the Garrick's Temple that has befouled this place. The dragon. <laughs> Morally lacking. No, <laughs> the, the, gold, is... the gold dragon. Destruction and fire. I will show you purification through fire. <laughs> that is all. That is all my actions. Zephyros. Out in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> the hallway's kind of there. I'll move your tokens. What's Zephyrus doing? I don't what think is this is what he's doing. Does, does he have knowledge dragon? Uh, he could do a knowledge check on the dragon and yep. try to figure out what it is and what's wrong with it. Yes. Uh... Let's see what knowledge he's got. I wasn't really think of thinking of like what's wrong with it. I was more thinking of like what fireballs it, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what are its vulnerabilities and, and sure. what's going the, on? The dragon's it? about to attack his companions. He's thinking, which element am I going to use? Personal <laughs> evocation, <laughs> melty gold. That does right. sound honest. That sounds like a thing that Zephyros, the character, would would want to yes. do. What kind of fireball should we use on him? Elephants are not necessarily known for their spontaneity. Uh, uh, he's got a knowledge arcana plus 25. He knows that this thing does not like cold. I can make cold fireballs, he says. Mm -hmm. And is going to try to cold fireball this thing as big as his fireballs get. Uh... I spawned hmm. a bitch. The first thing he needs to roll is a uh, uh, against the spell resistance of the dragon. He has greater spell penetration and the eye, so... Wonderful. 13 plus it's... 4, 17. What's the eye? Six, plus 2 sacred bonus to overcome uh, SR. Plus 19, is that right? Plus 1 for evocation. Yeah, he's plus, plus 19. 20? Or what's the one for evocation? Uh, that's on... The... I think that's just caster level. Oh, that's caster level because it's an evocation caster spell. Level. I see, yeah, yeah. Do you, you yeah, get yeah. caster level checks on SR? Yep. So instead yeah. of 13, it's 14, plus 2, 2 Six, for seven. spell that and greater spell, 18, plus 2 from the, the sacred bonus he said. So he's plus 20. Nice. It's going to be a d20 plus 20. You want to roll it, Matt? Uh, sure. Sure. Twenty-two. The cold fireball <laughs> just um, it <laughs> it washes off of the dragon. However, some of the coins on the ground are are less melty. It like it solidifies the coins. <laughs> he does not like that. Locking. Uh, that was Zephyros thinking about the monster and then cold fireballing. Uh, Pharisee. This temple is kind of this illusory temple is all around us. Yep. Um, I touch it. Okay. Give me your will save. I fail it because I'm cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you are you are convinced that you are that you I... are secretly in a temple of Garrick's? Yes. <laughs> 
does that mean this gold yes! dragon's a worshiper of Garrix? Oh. I think it might. Maybe the other fountain was the illusion. I start Bard Song as a free action. Okay. Uh, and I um, evil eye the dragon's AC. Does it get a save? It yeah. does get a save. It's mind affecting, uh, but it sh it's not mindless, so that shouldn't be a problem. Will save? Uh, it is a will save, and the DC is 25. It gets a 43. Okay, so um, I believe it lasts Two one minus. round. And how much minus? Minus four AC? Minus four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you you gave it the evil eye and a bunch of the gold fell off of its scales, revealing brittle bones underneath. Yeah. It moves one of its wings to try to uh, to try I to compensate. Be able to tackle it, I think, before mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Fair say anything else? No, that was an action to touch the thing and yep. two actions to evil eye to hex it. Okay. Well, you would have to cackle this round in order to extend it. Otherwise, it expires on your next turn. Right? Because uh, it's I, one round duration, so it would end at the start of your next turn. That's probably right. Yeah, Yeah, I don't think yeah. you actually need an action to interact with the Garrix Temple that's everywhere. So you could you could do your move action cackle. Your move action cackle now. I'll do the move action cackle. Nice. Bukrebek. Are, are, we, are we fighting the dragon that is bleeding coins? The professor. No, we must yeah, consecrate it's... this ground. Okay. Uh, the temple yeah, is it's, almost It's complete. an offering to Bumpa Dumba Dumba. It's like one <laughs> giant trade dragon. It Luger... is in a sense. It he seems says unconfidently, unconvincingly. Profane <laughs> temple as well. At first, I thought the professor brought it, but no, this is real. Help me, Bukerbeck. If we can get the temple started, right. Garrix will hear us even in dreams! Bukerbeck drops the backpack radio in the hallway as a free action. He moves into the room. Um, he gets a will save. <laughs> so I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> what do I do, man? What do 39? I do? 39? <laughs> I think a 39 succeeds. What's the DC, Luke? Uh, for to the temple. Disbelieve the illusion. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, 34. Yeah, he gets nice. it. Wow. Beep. Sees right through this bullshit. <laughs> he gets a professor bonus, too. For... <laughs> the fire temple is the illusion. The, the water temple is not. Yes, we must make them trade places. If we can change it to the fire, then, then we shall see the flames. Uh, I think. He's got a single protection from fire. Ugh, not even communal. Who's he going to stick it on? Himself, so he can heal everybody else up. Sure. Does he have a resist energy communal? Nope. That looks delicious. It's good, yeah. All I right. made, um, I'll tell you about it later. Yeah, it's good. He puts a protection from fire on himself. Uh, Bukerbeck saw through the illusion. There seems to be some confusion in the party. He's saying the water temple's real, the fire temple's not. And he's got 120 hit points against fire. <clears throat> the dragon snorts at that. Makronam is down a different hallway. The melting gold dragon. He finds all of you lacking. Morally lacking. <laughs> <laughs> 
if your brother needed a job, but he was like also a deadbeat. <laughs> And you were the difference between <laughs> him getting a job and not starving to death. Would you give him a recommendation? Or well, it depends if I'm morally the place. lacking. I don't want it to come back on me, you know. My word means a lot to me. All right. So his fire doesn't go outside this room, but he does snake oh, his. God coiled head around to breathe a massive cone of fire on those that are in the room. Any reflex saves? There are reflex saves needed. Uh, I think Dex is the one I kept in the dream room. Oof. There's no bonuses to saves right now, right? Uh, no. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Not great rules. Not really great rules across the board. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of real tough rules tonight. Okay. Uh, uh, how did Ferris say? Nineteen. If if I failed it, I can saving finale myself. Okay. Uh, the fire from the tortured gold bread dragon does a hundred and twenty four save for half. <laughs> that will just kill me outright. I. I think I think I should probably saving finale myself, dropping Bard Song, and re-roll this save. The DC of the dragon's breath weapon is thirty-one. Oh, 31. Do I still have a hero point? Fortune points. Um, uh, Max, you've got one hero point. Can I re-roll it with the fortune point? You can, yep. So well, no, we re-roll with the hero. Re-roll with the hero, yeah. add two for the fortune point. Yep. And you can add the two retroactively if you wanted to save it. Uh, fair enough. Oh, Bukerbeck's also in there. Uh, I think he has a chance of evading. Let me check. This is a crapshoot for me. Oh, this is just going to kill me straight up on this altar. <laughs> Uh, Bukerbeck failed. So he takes four damage after his entire protection gets wiped. <laughs> Reroll did not save me at all. Uh, pretty sure I outright die as well. 124? I had 29 damage on me before. Probably should have healed before I took that. But yeah, uh, and I have less con in the Dream Realm. So let me calculate this really fast. One, five, six, minus 29 minus 100 and what'd you say it was? 24? 124, yeah. 124. I am not, uh, I am d dead. I'm at negative 17. I have 12 con in the Dream Realm. Okay, Thurgus gets covered in gold. Like he's a gold uh, statue. Okay, okay. I take 124 damage, and I'm still up because of the enhanced con. I had a little bit, little bit of damage before. I think some of the fire that comes of the gold dragon is actually just gold, and it like melted gold, and it just turns Thurgus into a statue. I'm at negative seven because I have ten fire resist. Ah, so you are unconscious. Okay, he's partially turned into a gold statue. All right, <laughs> important distinction. Yes, uh, Professor, uh... how did you? How did you? The 
And fair so say you I'll... chose not to saving finale Thurgus. I had already saving finaled myself. Got it. <laughs> professor, <laughs> professor. Not like I chose not to. Did you Thurgis. make your saving throw or not, professor? No, no. I okay. I did not. Uh, I was looking through. I have the, uh, the what is it, a cloak that has basically ring of immolation on it. I, I, I was reading through it, the cloak of orange. It acts like a ring of immolation. I was looking through. I don't know that it does much. I don't doubt it's going to help me survive and not straight up die. But I was reading through. Does it give me some fire resistance? It works like fire shield. Um, I remember. I think we used this way a long time ago. It's for a free action to... rounds per day. So unless you did it on your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to do it before. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll straight up die. What What is the negative that you're at? Yeah, I'm double checking. I'm at 113 hit points minus the two damage I have. I have 111. What is the damage? 124. Have you Four. adjusted your hit points for your Dream Realm Constitution? Uh, I have not. How high is your charisma? Fair question. It might be lower. It's more relevant to Ferrisay than it is to the professor. Yeah, I've got it's, the professor at it's, like it's one it's points, one so. it's one bonus lower, so you've got eleven less hit points. So the professor is a gold statue. Okay. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> and then Pharisee. Maybe my death as I die <laughs> in flames, turning into the gold statue, I will be beseeching to Garrix the dragon in the smoking butte, all those pearls away, crying out for him. Give, give me a place. knowledge religion, professor. Uh, knowledge religion plus 23. Uh, 28, another real great role. Garrix <laughs> was the old dragon god. And you remember seeing a bunch of gods that were dead in Baba Yaga's shrine hut. Who mm -hmm. is the true power of red dragons here on the pearls? Is it a Shardalon? Yes. And uh, in my dying breath, when I make that realization, I will try and whisper his name before my mouth turns to gold. Okay. A shot along. That was the and missing. It'll be a gold statue of a professor trying to worship at a false idol. <laughs> that was the missing piece. Garrix is not a god that answers questions anymore. Something happened to that god long ago. A shot along is here, though. The spirit of the great and first red dragon. Um, something changed with the illusion. And, the yes. dragon, and there's a crack from all of the stone <laughs> and and the, the fountains now start like it sprung a leak <laughs> there's cracking going on <laughs> what did you do <laughs> how dare you speak his name here yeah. uh, and then fair say did you make your save I will continue to be a dead gold back. statue <laughs> yep <laughs> I I, yeah, failed, yeah. I failed it, but I'm alive with 17 hit points. Okay. Did any of you take more than 50 damage this round? Oh, okay. I definitely yeah. did. Make your fort yeah. saves versus death, or in this case, fort save versus being turned into a gold statue. 20 plus and 16. I think this is just don't roll a one. 20. Okay. 19. You don't don't die outright excellent all right the gold dragon can breathe again in three rounds thurgus i rolled a stabilize oh you're unconscious okay let yeah, me just put negative a, seven okay let me just put an x through don't panic you're a statue <laughs> it is the dream realm uh dream time thurgus is your mind makes it real 
Yeah, what negative are you at? Negative seven. Okay, so it's a DC 17 constitution check. Okay. All right, so you bleed by one. Negative Professor eight. is out. I mean, I'm, I'm dead. I am dead as the statue. I died praying at a false idol. And, but right at the very end, I did bring him into play here. So now he can see I did, I did what he asked for. You know, I delivered a shard along. <laughs> <laughs> it may yet save you. Uh, all right. Um, Zephyrus, what the fuck is he going to do? He needs to get you guys out of this room. Does he have like telekinesis or? I don't think we have it going now. Are you going to make him go into the room? <laughs> he really doesn't want to do that. He does have a wall of force. Um, He could drop that between us and the dragon. Yeah. What is the area of the wall of force? It is one ten foot square per level. So like thirty by thirty is nine. Uh and then nine. Thirty by forty is twelve. So there's a twenty foot tall. 90 foot wide. Wait, what caster level is he? Sorry. Uh, I think well, of course, is evocation, right? Yeah. Uh, then caster uh, level 14. Oh. Yeah, there's a 70 foot long, 20 foot tall barrier. That starts between Thurgus and the dragon. Okay. He will then move forward to be within reach of where you guys are to start pulling you out. Uh, Farisay. Um, I am what is going to. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you are not only great. But evil. I only used my heel. Calling out to that name here between the Mind Flayer and Dombreville. Alright, I'm going to bring Bard Song back up. Yep. Leave the room. Uh so I'm going to Bring Bard Song back up, cackle, and leave the room. Okay. Buker, yeah. Bukerbeck needs to. Uh, can I say before I leave? We can get you out of here, dragon. Your only way out is through that mind flare, and we can defeat the Jabberwock and, and open the way. Otherwise, you're trapped here in this temple to him forever. False promises. They will not let me die. I promise we will let you die. All right. Bukerbeck. At... The dragon heard you. Uh, give me a charisma check. You didn't have time for a diplomacy. Yeah, fair enough. <coughs> Charisma's not terrible. My charisma is... plus seven. <laughs> I found my old notes from this geese. Eleven. Curse me to this place. My scales... Have funded great atrocities. That 
the dragon ends up just bemoaning his fate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bookerbeck is going to. Uh, Tri- triage. <laughs> I think do some triage on Thurgus. Uh, does he have a breath of life? He does. Which does healing as well. But can he breath of life a gold statue? It's a good if question. That's, if that's your question, Matt, I doubt it. That, that's my question. Might be a heal check on his part or something. Um, you get 29 healing back from the breath of life, and then he's going to channel a quicken channel a healing spell or a healing uh, uh, channel energy. He'll use two of those. All right, he's restored 51 to both Thurgus. Oh, oh sorry, Thurgus isn't a complete statuette. He gives 22 yeah. back to Thurgus and 51 to the professor. I come back to life? Yeah. The gold nice. begins to melt off, and you're still covered in it, and it's it's... It's like you had molten gold poured over you. Um, and I... Uh, and Thurgus is awake. Uh, 22 to everyone, did you say? 22 to everyone and 51 total to uh, Professor. That, that was a breath of, breath of life on the Professor and a, and a quickened channel. Nice. So that puts me at... Oh, 51 damage then. I, I don't know what your hit point total is. You got that's 51 crazy. healing. Uh, Bukarek's still just standing there, though. That's the end of his that's, turn. Makarnam, that's exactly it, half of my health hit points. Makarnam turned into, a, a, into an urn and tried to sneak through the, the, um, uh, through the courtyard, uh, spouting little tentacles. Spools. And uh, yeah, Spoodles. And then he's now being played with like a ball by the. Uh, oh no! <laughs> by the Jabberwock is just sort of like kicking him around the field. You thought you heard oh, like from from uh, from Mokernam out there. Uh, the gold dragon. Lure me, curse me, turn my scales into actual gold. How much have I funded? How much did he make from me? This like gold dragon is being used to like fund this this war machine of this like nightmare place we're in, right? This guy was nice, nice. Wasn't he some kind of king fighting some like endless war, and we're like in his nightmare? I think, prison? yeah. The, it's like the, drag, the dragon is, is pacing back and forth. And now you speak that dragon's name. This fire is not righteous. Mine is. Mine was. Is this a sign? Will freedom come through worship of him? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I'm alive again. Do I sputter back to life? Yeah, the gold kind of melts off of you. You're still in great amounts of pain as part of your body is covered in gold. <laughs> and you can hear this dragon. If you understand dragon, it is it is madly raving behind this pen. It could just fly over the pen, but it doesn't seem to have realized that at this point. It's bumping into the wall of force. Uh, I will, with my first gasping breath back alive in Draconic, I will cry out uh, my praise to Ashardalon for saving me. Well, he is. Oh, Ashardalon! Oh, he is. He is one of the. Um, he is one of the triad. <laughs> well. Um... The symbol of Garrix begins to burn away, and the symbol of Ashardalon in your illusion is now there. 
I did find my notes from previously on him. Uh, one of my notes in here is he cares not for his followers, so probably not like a lot of saving <laughs> vibes coming back through this statue. But <laughs> number one note from him was the Great Destroyer. So uh, maybe he can at least blow this dragon up. Though we'll see. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will. I will cry out prayers to him with my first breath back. Okay. Uh, you hear that there is something listening as burning into the stone behind uh, above the fountain is the symbol of a Shardalon. Which you could probably find. Give me a second. If we're still... Are we just uh, at the top of the round? We're start... Oh, I guess it's... It'll be... Th no. Where were we? Because we did... Bukerbeck did the Breath of Life. Makronoma's in the hallway. And the dragon's just wandering around back here. Lamenting. <laughs> Lamenting his existence. So the symbol of a Shardalon is strange. Um, let me see if I can get this on that now. I'll have to save it as an image. Nope, that's not it. Man, this dream, this is a really, like, uh, this is a really big turning point in the dream world. Like, this is one I think you'd wake up from if you do wake up, like, wow, that's really, like, changed my life. Like, this is two of the professor's top of his character sheet, like, character debilitating problems are getting <laughs> pretty good. confronted. Like, some real oh, traumas getting to worked life? out. Did pretty soon all you're going to have left is eternal cholera. Well, yeah, exactly, did that go yeah. away when he died and came back to life? Oh, is did that death? Awesome? Did death save him from incurable cholera? Uh -huh. <laughs> the hat trick clear the character sheet of three of them up here. <laughs> nah, it's gonna take something more than that. He's got a fever, and the only <laughs> cure. Yeah, it's more cow. <laughs> All right, uh, the boon for tonight. As you delivered this gold dragon, technically as a sacrifice to a Shardalon, as you've now made a convert of a Shardalon pyre yes. of the unborn, yes. is that once per day, <laughs> your um, illusions can also are also treated as a fear spell. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That is cool. And we'll call that a Shardalon's presence. It's that in addition to their normal stuff, right? Yep. Uh, treated as fear, is that what you said? Yeah, the fear spell. Hell yeah. Is that with the DC of the illusion or the DC as per fear? Uh, we'll say the DC of the illusion. Nice. A Shardalon's presence? This dragon, this melting gold dragon, seems to be confused by the appearance of the uh, symbol of a Shardalon. He sees through the uh, illusion of Garrix, only to realize that perhaps this is his way out. Perhaps oh, his, his judginess and morality is meaningless in a place that is being torn apart, or at least uh, contained by not one but two greater evils. Capital E. <laughs> the dragon seems confused, uh, at least uh, contemplative, um, ra raving, and seems less uh, concerned about um, the, the group of you at the moment. Thurgus, what are you doing? Thurgus will spend a move action to stand up. A move action to pick up his sword. <laughs> So. <laughs> and another sorry another action uh he's going to use a judgment the one that gives him fast healing and armor and that's his turn i, I think we should leave it alone but he looks very angry professor uh wow i i guess question number one do i still feel the 
compulsion of the forgotten geese in the back of my mind like all right there's one let's see we need silver copper maybe no, another the, gold the, or the, do i feel the, like the gears has been lifted ah <laughs> free boys two down incurable cholera here comes the cure <laughs> Yeah. Do I guess I guess uh yeah, did dying. Do I feel the the like lingering disease still in me? Is it back when I wake from the dead? You have a distinct feeling that you still have incurable cholera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just give one of those hacking blood filled coughs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you turn over in your sleep a little bit, but the but the belt but the belt soothes the cholera, <laughs> so you've got a belt against disease. So, uh, yeah, you're still afflicted there. Sorry. Okay, that's great. That's great. This is a great dream. Honestly, I'm loving this dream. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, enjoy your new religion, Mr. Gold Dragon. You tell a shot along. You're welcome when you see him. Uh, have a nice day. <laughs> well, whew, I feel better than ever, fair to say. I think dying is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I, I think many people would agree with you on that one. <laughs> wow, that was... Whew. I'd prefer that you not, and I'd prefer that I not, too. Let's finish this thing off. Oh, but maybe, uh, maybe we need to regroup outside. Zephyrus picks up Bukerbeck and puts him behind him as a, as a free action, dropping him. He's going to try to reach in and grab Thurgus to pull him out of the room. Thurgus, are you willingly going? Uh, Thurgus trusts Zephyrus. Cut. He picks you up and puts you out. His third action, he closes the door. <laughs> but he like he like waves his arms. Yeah. You know that like whole like yeah. your friend holds you back. Yeah. Hold me back. Hold me back, Zephyrus. I got him this time. He then He's just like quietly on death's door. As the dragon's raving, he closes the door. Let me go, Zephyrus. Oh, I could have had him. It was this close. I think we need to find some place to rest, or to at least recuperate. Yes, we're running a bit low on on power, but I don't a bit more. I don't know how that works here. Do we just keep sleeping? Oh, well, what are we trying? Know. Was did anyone see a sword or anything in there? Um, it's probably I've got in the fountain. Plenty Might more be. magic, but uh, not much health. Perhaps Lots of magic. Have... Maybe we can think of something clever to pop in there, grab the sword out of the fountain, pop out while he's having his crisis of faith. I say we buff up while he's having his crisis of faith, go in there and fucking murder him. But... Ezri is also supposed to be around here somewhere. Did we see any place where Ezri could have been? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Ezri is a cat. Ezri? Ezri, is that you? Um, you haven't been tracking her footprints, I think, since the West That's Wing. True. Let me pull out the lens. Yep. Oh, she's poked around in these rooms. You can see her paw prints. Yeah. Do do the paw prints go to any other rooms in this hall? Uh, they do linger outside this dragon's um, uh, yeah hall and then you think she peed on the door where the the fortune teller fair fuck that guy <laughs> uh she visited other rooms but she spent a lot of time circling outside this one before before leaving um her paw prints are everywhere did she go into the room not this one no not the dragon room. Not the dragon room. Okay. She pawed at the door, but she didn't go in. Yeah. Uh, let's do a more thorough search of the Zoltar room then. Okay. You go back into the Zoltar room. Um, there are... This is maybe a place where we could rest, too. Um, let's also do some knowledge checks. Can we rest in the dream realm? How does that work? 
I think we're... normally if you fall asleep in the dream realm, you wake up in the real. Yeah, but we're trapped in this space and we can't get out. True. You might have... So, the danger of waking up while you're so far away from your body... Uh, the the priests of the... Um, of Iambulus of the Tribe of the Moon said you should come back to your own constellation before waking up. Yeah. Uh, you can just lie listless here. I, uh, and, I have enough and power technically to keep rest. going a little longer. You're not sure what being in the Dread Realm and trying to wake up means? Yeah. Does anyone have any healing? I... I've got to cure life wounds, but it's only inflict, so it will only work like so-so. I have a wand. Where's where's Makronom? Where is Makronom? Makronom got blown away in that hall. I assume that he's a an umbrella stand or something in the in the hall. Makronom, are you out here? You don't hear anything. Uh, Bukovic then just closes the door. Oh, Christopher's like playing. Christopher's gone. Oh, did he get? He doesn't come back. So I mean, you might come up with different dream realm mechanics. Yep. But if I get rendered unconscious. He does not reappear until the next time I get a full night's rest. All right. He, That's Christopher, the consequence. Christopher disappeared when when uh, when Dreamtime Thurgus uh, fell unconscious. And it's worth noting, I lose any evolutions he would have shared with me as well. What, what map are we on? Uh, just to the left of the fountain. Uh, I've got two potions of Cure Moderate, a potion of Cure Serious. Uh, Bukerbeck's uh, going to use his healing before you guys tap into that. Okay. Okay, who is hurt? The worst. Yeah, I got the I'm down 117. Okay, so Thurgus, here's another 26. Okay. I'm down 119. Ooh. And we'll do another cure critical wounds on... 43 on Ferrisay. I'll take that for sure, yeah. And then on the Professor. You really have any channels you, left? You, yeah, he's, he's just going to burn a few of his useless fourths. Uh, 33 on the Professor. Okay, uh, I still have some left. And then how are you guys feeling? 91. I'm at 18. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, I've got... 76 damage still. All right, he channels four times for 89 healing. That's the oh, one. That's all of it. All right. That will do it. <laughs> yeah, it's good enough. I have like two damage left. Okay. That even heals those hit points back that I'm missing. A dragon whose scales body. turn into coins is a blessed creature of Bapa Dapa Damba. What did we do to it? converted it to a shardalon um i don't know looks why. Angry. <laughs> yeah i hate to ask but do you know why uh i remember that altar of garrix we saw in the smoking butte a long time ago uh, i think it's a little fuzzy after that but oh. it seemed like the right thing to do when here I am alive, and the dragon's not killing us anymore, so... I suppose Wait, I should have checked you for curses, but you have so many, it's hard to pick them out. Yeah, it's best not to, you know, like, look too deep. You just find more things that need fixing. Uh... Anyway, I feel much better. I think dying there was the best thing that ever happened to me. I feel like a new boy, or man, or... Huh. Listen. Um, yes, now that we're healed, uh, Fergus, I believe you wanted to go stab it, uh, and no. then you were gonna go stab that other machine? Uh, hold, hold on a second. Bukrebeck just brought me back from the fucking dead. I'm not about to piss it into the face of Bomba Domba Domba if it's a sacred dragon or some shit. Well, not, if, it, not if it's calling out to a horrible dragon god. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, we're game. Let's go fuck him up. It, but it, 
You! Rubik's <laughs> pointing directly at the professor. He looks really flustered. It seems to produce a great deal of fire. Can we, uh... Professor, can you convince it to spit a great deal of fire at something that's not there for real? I... Uh, yes, probably. Uh, maybe. It's... That last dragon in the courtyard saw right through my illusions. It seemed sort of confused by the temple, though. Did it look yeah. like it saw it through it? We've got time. Um, Why should I, I help you? Why should I help you against this creature that can turn into coin? Oh, maybe the coin is a curse. It did not look very healthy. It doesn't worship Baba Dabba Dumba. Uh, it might it just was... be melting. It's producing gold for for a, a dragon god. Uh, is a Shardalon allied with Bumpa Dumba Dumba, perhaps? No, of course not. Hmm, should a Shardalon have such a treasure? Also, he looked like he was in a lot of pain. Gold shouldn't hurt. He did say that his scales were used to fund atrocities. I feel like we got to put him out of his misery. <laughs> And he complained about not being able to die and not being put to rest. That should be on us. We'd be doing him a favor. Okay, Bukrebeck. He can hear his teeth grinding a bit, but he, he nods. <laughs> it will be all right, says Ephiros. And we will see if I get my spells after we do this deed. <laughs> or whether or not I'll need an atonement. <laughs> oh, we can atone together, mate. I promised uh, Bumper Dumper Dumper I would be good. You, you, you got it right this time. <laughs> uh, I'll right. throw up a communal resist fire. If we rest, Bukerbeck can put up communal resist energies. Yeah, I can communal resist energy. I have it now. We, we just don't know how resting works here. Yep. He has also oh, let me count uh, three channel energies left. Um, and, yeah, one, I mean, and, and one breath of life. I mean, he can. He, 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 could, he could spend three rounds or one round with two bursts. I think then... I could have done a little better against that dragon if I didn't take so much fire. But that 20d6 is fucking brutal. It was 20, we also, 20 d10s. 20 d10s, Jesus. That's, gold that's, dragons are gross. That's rough. He also doesn't appear to be able to leave the room. Can't we just stand back here and shoot him from the doorway? That's an Can't we thought. do that with all these beasts? They're his, trapped in their rooms. His fire didn't leave the room. Can the creature... Hard to... Well, I know. If he could leave the room, surely he would have. Can he fit through that door? Probably not. Uh, tight Mommy's squeeze. Anchoring him. And the Jabberwock we saw, it lost interest in Ferrisse right when she left the room, and it was pissed when it heard a song. That, that one was able... To, I did see its wings going th across the threshold. It seemed like it was more so trained to not go in. Well, like, a gold dragon can do whatever the fuck it wants, so, like, it could leave, right? Anytime. It's a gold dragon. Fergus, am I starting to sound like you? I, I can <laughs> see I'm so coming. proud. We should, we should prepare better this time. A haste spell, at least, says, says Zephyrus. Yes. Oh, uh, we've got haste. <laughs> haste, good hope, energy resistances... Um, Freedom of movement. Righteous are we talking might. or are we casting here? Are we doing this thing? Let's go. Thurgis just starts throwing up buffs. Worst yeah. case scenario, everybody chickens out and goes to sleep, in which case he gets them back anyways. So he's trying to like peer pressure everyone. <laughs> The, I, I, out spells. <laughs> the gold statues while the dragon was still borderline good <laughs> were one thing the gold statues while he's worshipping our Ar Shardalon or has just recently yeah. converted yeah. there may be a different thing he'll do with them probably gonna be <clears throat> a lot more brutal <laughs> alright so you guys are all like 
like hovering around each other and spinning around the room as you guys are planning your your attack. Some of the machines are spinning around. It's almost like your desire for vengeance or victory is kind of warping the dream in this little place. Is it, the layout here is like linear, right? Like we had to go through the dock to get to the like boxing room, and there's no like branching chambers. It's kind of uh, like you could side have, passages, you could have but... ignored you could have ignored the boxing chamber. You could have just walked right down the hallways if you wanted okay. to. And so outside of the room with Zoltan here, there is a hallway that continues on, right? Yep. Uh, should we maybe see what else is down the hallway? So we know there's the cursing carnival game, and uh, we know there's the gold dragon, recent convert to a new religion, let him get acquainted, maybe come back and stab him. Mm, I fear else. that we could get lost in a place like this. All of these are so horrible. I think there are there are dozens wish to deal with this. There are dozens of rooms. If you wish, I could turn this. Uh, few game chapter into a whole chapter as you guys just wander through the madness of the dream realm <laughs> maybe not maybe not each room is far worse than the one before it and it is a mystery what thing is going to uh pop out to kill you next the advantage here is that esri has already scouted out where the keys are mm -hmm. she seems yeah. to be leading you along this place that is very uh, expansive in the nightmare, very, very compartment, compartmentalized and very vast. Should we then maybe reconnoiter that room as something really small and fast and sneaky and go try and see if we can find the other key or the sword or uh, whatever that uh, dragon's got in that fountain? I know one person who is very good at pretending we could use macaron couldn't we maybe Ooh. if if he doesn't uh like ask everything if it's for eating or keeping maybe could we uh buff him up make him even smaller and faster and sneakier <laughs> If Zephyrus is now, like, fretting near the door, I'm worried about him. <laughs> let's, let's take a peek, at least. Okay, you guys go tiptoeing back down the hallway. I'm going to go over to the, uh, to the garden map. And you can see that settling down, not quite asleep, but settling down and kind of batting this, uh, this hardened clay urn back and forth uh is the jabberwock it's it's like laying down amongst the bushes and just sort of playing you could you could see a little tentacle coming off of the urn uh it's it's mocker knob uh so the the you're saying the Jabberwock has Mockernom and he's playing with him? Yeah, Mockernom is an urn and he's playing with the urn like it's a ball. Okay. Uh, but by the by the like by he's... the broken splatters of plants and flowers, it looks like he's been battered around a lot. But it now it's just yeah. he's just sort of quieted down and is just rolling Mockernom around. And Mockernom's not hurt. He's like you know, uh, he might it. he might be a little bit hurt. <laughs> Uh, we should do something you, you about You do see that. a little, like, like one of the, um, one of the potato eye, like, tendrils kind of comes out and is looking at you, <laughs> blinks a little bit, and then goes back into the, uh, into the pot. Uh, we should distract him and somebody should grab Mokronom out of there. Uh, maybe I can do something here. Uh, allow me. I cast Spectral Hand. Um, I take 1d4 damage, which goes into the hand. Yep. Four. Great. So the hand okay. has four hit points, and I have four damage. Um, I send the hand 
let's see here. The hand has medium. Uh, I have it pop up fairly close to, let's say, I think it can essentially strike within range as an action. Yep. Yeah, I cast Jester's Jaunt. It's a touch spell. It's a bard spell. The hand appears. The, the, uh, the Jabberwocky is looking at it. It touches Mokronom. And I Jester's Jaunt. Deliver touch spell to Makronom and pop him to a space I can see within 30 feet of the target. So 30 feet in our direction. Okay. Makronom, Mok the urn that is Makronom sp sprouts a bunch of little legs and, and tendrils and caterpillar kind of like uh, tracks and, and zips into the door. You could hear the dragon getting angry that you stole his toy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was... I thought I was going to be for eating, but then I, then it was for keeping. For keeping by us, absolutely. Oh, bad, bad dragon puppy, bad dragon puppy. I'll good hope and moment of greatness us all before we go in, and I'll glibness myself. Okay, Bukerbeck's going to use a third level spell to heal up Makronom. He spontaneously turns his invisibility purge into a, a healing spell. Oh, thank you, Bukerback. Thank you, Bamba Dama Dom Bob. <laughs> We're looking for two things in that room huh? uh, that contains a dragon, uh, my oh. friend. We're, we're looking for a sword and we're looking for Ezri. You remember Ezri, the cat lady? Oh, yeah? Um, is the sword for keeping or for eating? It's for keeping. Is We're going to use is, it to get ourselves out of here. Oh, is Ezri for keeping or for eating? Ezri is for keeping. Uh, but I <laughs> promise that you'll find you something to eat. <laughs> Zephyrus scolds Makronov with, with his own name. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he just smiles with his big, with his big Seems chompy like teeth. Question. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the dragon's gonna be mad. Uh, um, it might be busy worshiping its new god. Is somebody coming in there with me? I'm going to send one d three leprechauns in there. Oh, what's a leprechaun? Uh, they like gold. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I might be able to make something happen with the statue in there. Let's see. Maybe give it a little distraction. Oh. How am I going to get in there? Uh, we can make you invisible. Can gold dragons see invisibility? Do they have true sight? Not unless they cast it. Um, you guys put your heads to together. Me. I'm looking at your knowledge arcanas. You know that they have dragon senses, which means they might be able to sense invisible creatures that are near. Okay. We'll distract it. I'm a distraction. Uh, and we can give you lots of uh, encouragement here. How would you like to be really small and like be able to fly around and also I mean you could be invisible just for the fun of it. I've got maybe greater invisibility. Oh, I got a new spell. It's called mirror image. Oh, uh, yeah. one. oh maybe I'll cast that spell. That will save you a couple of hits. Yes, Makronom, you should cast that spell. Oh, okay. Uh, I've got haste for him, too, right before he goes through the door. I should be able to, one turn, hit him with fly and reduce person. Second turn, hit him with haste. And uh, I should be able to do greater invisibility for him, too. All right. So the wall of force is probably down by now. 
I would imagine, yeah. Uh, Are we at a point where we're casting rounds per level buffs to get ready to go in? It feels like you guys are down the hallway from where the dragon is, and you're you're concocting a plan. Okay, that yeah. Sounds right to me, too. Yeah. Um, I've got those four things. Um, when we go in, uh, I will, I think, concentrate on the statue, the temple itself, and maybe, uh, if he thinks he communes with his god, uh, he'll be very engaged with that. Well, Markranon, you sneak in, do what you gotta do, and Thurgis, you're ready there, like, Real tough, right? Like, you're the baddest motherfucker. You'll stab that guy if we need you to, right? You got That's that. right. Yeah, you're ready. You're Even ready if to you don't me. need me to, I'll do it anyways. That's also true. Watch out for that breath weapon, though, mate. Uh, that one was a doozy. <laughs> uh... If I had another wall of force, I could wait until it breathes to intercept it. Don't, don't you have, like, some sort of arcane bond? I do. Would you like me to use that? Maybe. Unless you've got, like, uh, protection from energy communal on that arcane spellbook of yours. Maybe that could be, like, you know, just as good and not prevent me from being able to attack it. I will cast the haste spell, and then I will ready my wall of force. Okay. And the good. plan is to just scope it out, right? And if there's a ring or a sword, grab it from the fountain behind this dragon and get out? A uh, ring you or a sword. Distract it so Makronam can do that. And if it all the way dies while we're distracting it, then oops. <laughs> all right, sounds Not good. Really I will... I'll hang out by the door probably a lot. Very close. I think I will too, but I will send three leprechauns in. I like the sounds of that. Uh, the more leprechauns, the better, I think, in this situation. Yes, let's see. 1d3. Two leprechauns is what we will end up getting. All right. And then you're summoning those now? Uh, I'll summon them right before we go in because that's rounds per level. Let's see if I have been a leprechaun token. I kind of want them to go to both sides and then run down the two sides. We're going to try and draw draw its attention. Maybe draw a breath weapon. We'll see what we can do. Are they small? Uh, leprechauns are... What are they? They are small fang, yes. Okay. Hey, guys. Do you like gold? <laughs> I do. Of course we do. <laughs> Have I got a treat for you? Yippee! <laughs> they're, 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 they're kind of simple because they're summoned creatures. <laughs> they're they're going to agree with everything that you say. <laughs> you can pick gold right off its tail. <laughs> that's what I want you to do. They, they, you down the left, you down the right, and just pick that gold off the tail. Pick, 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 pick. They're, they're laughing and they're waving their cudgels and. Uh, are you sending them in? Are we really re-rolling initiative here? So what's going on? Are we doing it, Thurgis? Uh, fuck yeah, we are. And then Thurgis casts righteous might and infuses his weapon with his warrior spirit. You can hear the gold dragon. Um. And then I am going to try and talk the dragon out of uh, causing his problems by promising to break his cage and, and let him escape. Uh, I'm going to project an image of myself from the hallway outside and hang out in there, concentrate using the statue uh, to, like, work the shrine and uh, see see what that does me. Um, you're sending Makarnam in? What, what are your instructions for Makarnam? I, I believe we're sending him in as stealthy and quick and agile as possible, and we want him to go and 
scope this place out and look in that fountain at the back, right? There's like a giant fountain that the dragon came out of. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're looking for a sword, specifically the Vorpal sword, and we're looking for um, the key, like the other two oh, yeah. we've found so far. So that, yep. that might be in there too. But oh, I, I okay. think we think the Vorpal sword specifically is what we're looking for. Okay. Uh, Makanam, pre, uh, prior to this cast, mirror image on himself. Um, then, yeah. yeah. He might be able to go along the ceiling, fly along the ceiling, uh, while the dragon's looking down, up to him. Uh, which, He's which, a little dude. which token is the right Makarnam? Here, we'll just... For the purposes of, like, adding spells to <laughs> Mirror image. He's got six of them. And he will also cast a shield and a mage armor. Uh, if you've got him up, I'm going to give him fly, reduce person, haste, and greater invisibility. Reduce person won't work on him. No? Okay. He's not They're a person. Not he's an aberration. Got it. Uh, I've, I'll... Yeah, and I've given him good hope and um, moment of greatness. So fly, haste, greater invisibility. <laughs> so Massive teddy bear with gruesome sword. Righteous might. He gets size large. <laughs> nice. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm going to get the gold. <laughs> the best part is is that his size large greatsword that Shut becomes a size huge greatsword. Do you hear me? <sighs> He's going to hear you pretty soon. Just give him a second. He's warming up outside. <laughs> I am your servant. Allow me to burn, burn this place in your name. Okay, we could work with this. <laughs> we shall cast the Somberville family to ruin. We shall burn this mind flayer and kill all of those who are trapped here. The dreamers and the deep dreamers alike. Maybe not the. Eh, man. I shall. I shall usurp this place and turn we're, it into an inferno for you. We're just hearing this from the hallway. Yeah, right? yeah. Outside. You guys are like outside this this wooden door, like a sturdy, good wooden door with a metal uh, with metal um, uh, braces and you a big. You know that we are the answer to your prayers. We are who was sent here, and we can break the cage and let you free. Show yourself, Dreamlet. Show wreck your revenge. All Show. we need is the sword. To kill I'll... the guardian and break the, the cage for the one the one above. Uh, I'll uh, cast Project Image, and I think I can walk an image of myself, like a shadow of myself, into the room with him and then like i'm gonna stay back and my body will just be like blind and deaf and i will just i think i could just kind of like operate as this shadow uh this quasi real illusion version of myself the dark star long have i sat on it uh, yes uh it is us. Uh, you heard her. You heard the proposal. And now you beseech your great God, whom I delivered with my dying breath as your savior here. Surely he will grant you your freedom, freedom of this treasures you've been forced to uh, sit upon for eternity. First you talk me. And now you will claim you will give me freedom. Show yourself, little wormlings. Oh, uh, if I show myself again, you will but burn me away. Uh, do not listen to us. Listen to your deliverer. And I will motion up to a Shardalon. Uh, the statue, and like right. while I'm doing this, so, I will like so look the door. Over my the door is too. closed currently. Have you guys opened the door? You guys are have, trying to have a conversation through the door. I think we should open it a crack. Okay, 
<laughs> Who's there? Speak your name so I may know who I can slay last. Can I uh, slip my projected image self into the room? With yes. Me? I will do that. You're using the spell project image? Yes. It's the first time I've used it. It's a great illusion spell for the So professor. For what it's worth, rounds of haste are running. Is that right? We're in rounds per level right now? Uh, Attempting yeah. Attempting diplomacy? Uh, I think okay. we're starting the distraction right now to carry out the plan, right? All right. Okay. I've rolled initiative. Thurgus? You. Who are you? Uh, he will, hmm. He's speak. he's looking down at young scholar Henry and asking Oh, and it's you. only open a crack. It's only open a crack. You could, you could just move through the door at, uh, treat it like difficult terrain. It's kind of like, uh, you'll bump into it as you. Honestly, Thurgus is just going to concentrate on how much he hates this dragon. And he's going to greater dragon bane his sword again he's gonna judge the dragon and he's gonna prep he's just prepping himself mentally for a fight the, the, so he's gonna burn rounds without just you, so that he's ready professor you do notice the dragon's eyes go towards the door like you can hear um stuff going on on the other side mm -hmm. uh, i am professor henry sinclair chalmers the third sir at your service you uh, are teacher Yes, uh, I am considered by those in my pearl to be a great scholar, very respected in academia for you my are knowledge. Living, you are living proof that if your teacher, a guider of souls and morality in your world, a professor, that your pearl should be burned to ash and started again. Actually, I don't want to be too nitpicky there, but I was not a morality professor, sir. I Teachers are supposed to guide. Yes, uh, but I know a very specific... Uh, are you unfamiliar with academia? Have you, you focus... A shot on will the... grant me the strength to burn your pearl. Uh, Tell yes, me sir, where sir. you're from. Uh, yes, sir. Uh... I am from, uh, what was it, a station originally? It's not a great place these days. Nah. I don't recommend it. Uh, okay. No, Professor, you're from uh, Scarfet. Oh, Scarfet. Yes, it's been so long. Uh, no, all uh, from Scarfet. Oh, yes, oh, Scarfet. Uh, I have a bit of a memory issue, Dragon. Uh, but uh, enough about Ooh. me. Uh, I couldn't help but notice... A uh, shard alone is a fire-breathing dragon. An upstart lightning spitter will not be his favored. I will be. I think you're right. And I think next time you see him, you remind him right. of so that you, you did, you did your, You did your, like... <laughs> um... yeah, he literally is just getting mad and, like, okay. and just ready to murder a dragon. All right. So Zaf just let me know how many rounds of Bane and I have to burn. Judgment is actually one per combat. So okay. Zephyros is ridding his uh, wall of force. Is it, Fair say. Is anybody given Makronom the signal? I am blind. Uh, Makronom like, rolled yeah. a four on his initiative, oh. so he's at the end of the round. Okay. He's uh, he's inching forward. Oh no, no. So Ferris just gives him a nod. Things are happening. <laughs> uh Ferrisay, what are you doing? Uh, I'll start hard song. And these leprechauns have been summoned? The leprechauns have been summoned. Okay. We've knocked a few rounds off them probably for sure. What is that music the dam reveals? That is all they do. Mindless revelry. The corruption. We will reset. We'll burn it. Like a forest of pines. It'll grow back stronger. It'll grow back better. I shall shape from the ashes the new world. Uh, 
I will. Uh, he seems distracted. I will try and not to make too much noise and start to concentrate and make connection to the image, permanent image temple of a Shardalon. Okay. Um, Book Rebecca is going to cast Bless Weapon on Thurgus's Blade. Yeah. I think you can do that on others. Yes, weapon touch. It's good align, bypasses DR of certain creatures, blah, blah, blah. 